Okay. Welcome to this video here. And this video is simply going to go over a couple of things that are covered in Google slide presentations in Canvas. Here, I'm just gonna run through a couple of them, you know, how to access Canvas on your phone and how to access Canvas from your desktop computer. So first up, how do we access Canvas from my phone? Step one, you can go to your phone, go to your, uh, web, uh, go to your phone's web store and search for Canvas student. So once you find it, you know, it should look something like this. Uh, download, install, you know how to install an app. Uh, step two, it's going to ask you to find my school. Now, this is the trick. You don't search for Geyer High School. You search for Denton ISD. So you can type in Denton ISD, .instructure.com or Denton ISD. Um, either one should bring up Denton ISD. So click on that, and that is your quote-unquote school. So click that, and then it will ask you to log in. So your login information is your student ID number at DentonISD.org, as it shows right here, and then type in your password. So your password is your DISD password. And then I would also check the arrow to keep me signed in, because this is an app, and once you sign in, it will always be signed in. So that's it for that. Um, now we'll talk about your home computer. When accessing your Canvas from home, it's pretty simple. There's two different ways I'm going to go over in quick succession. The first way is to simply navigate to the website dentonisd.instructure.com. Then you will log in with your ID number at dentonisd.org again and use your DISD password to log in, and that's it. You're in. And again, if it asks you to save your password and whatnot, I would because if you're on your home computer, uh, you won't have to worry about forgetting it. The other way to log in to Canvas at home is to go through the SSO. Now, I'm going to show you these steps simply because uh, the other way is faster, but a lot of people use the SSO. So just remember that the SSO um, uses pop-ups, and so that's most of what this is, is just disabling pop-ups. So the first thing you do is open up your browser and go to your settings. So here in this example, it's using Chrome. So you click on the three dots and go to the settings uh, for the Chrome browser. Then you're going to go down to advanced. And when you click on advanced, then it will take you through another set. And you'll see down here it says content settings under privacy and security. And then you'll click the arrow for more options. And then you'll see that it says pop-ups and redirects. So click on that and it will take you to this page and you actually toggle it to allow pop-ups. It's different for each browser, but they're all basically the same that you'll find this embedded somewhere in the settings. Um, once you've allowed that, then you can just simply go to the SSO. So here you can type in Denton SSO class link or class link launch pad, and it should take you straight to the uh, website, but again, it's going to ask you to log in. So the only difference between logging in here and actually logging into Canvas is Canvas, you have to use like the at dentonisd.org, whereas here you just type in your student ID number and your password. Once you do that, then you'll be in the SSO and then just look for Canvas. Um, it You can modify the SSO, so I couldn't tell you exactly where Canvas is going to pop up. So, but you know, the Canvas symbol is pretty standard. So just click on that and then boom, you're in. Uh, I hope that helps. And that's all for this video today.